What's up, everybody? The purpose of this video is to help make you a ChatGPT Pro by using these four easy tips. If you find this helpful, please like and subscribe, share it out. It could be helpful for other people as well. Now, I came across this wonderful little acronym on Twitter, so go ahead and follow these people at their handles. You can see here if you also find this helpful, show them some love as well. All right, so tip number four, audience. Let ChatGPT know who it is or what it is that the output should be directed towards. It's one thing to tell it to write an email explaining you'll be out sick tomorrow. It's another thing to write an email to my boss explaining that I'll be out sick tomorrow. Those will probably produce different outputs. Okay, here's another example. Write five tweets about Florida healthcare, your audience, people with limited English. I love how it includes the emojis, but notice how it makes the language simple. Florida healthcare, many services, uh, need a doctor in Florida, no problem. So there's nothing too complicated on here because you let it know that the audience is people with limited English. All right, tip number three is role. Let ChatGPT know the specific role that you want it to play in order to give you output. Here's one example. You are a master of philosophy. Ask me a question so we can have a debate. All right, it'll go back and forth with you. All right, so when I do this one, I, I use the phrase you are, all right, whenever I'm giving it a role. You are my math tutor. Ask me questions to get me ready for my algebra test and keep track of my data. So it asked me a question. I got it wrong, let's say on purpose. And then it went ahead and let me know that I was wrong and it gave me all those specifics as well. All right, so telling it what you want it to be can be very helpful. All right, tip number two, target. Let it know the size or quantity of the output that you want. One reason this is important is because ChatGPT sometimes can be a bit wordy. If I wanna send an email, I don't want that email to be four or five paragraphs and have all sorts of language I don't need in there. So for example, here I told it, write a five sentence email to my boss explaining that I will be out sick tomorrow. I don't want it sounding like ChatGPT wrote this email for me. All right, here's another example. Give me three different examples of how ChatGPT can be used for an accountant. Examples should be no more than seven words. And here it is. All right, I don't want too much. I just wanted something simple and brief. All right, let's say I want something longer. Write five paragraphs, four to five sentences each on the beauty of an egg. And here it goes. It gave me all that on something simple. If you want a lot, tell it you want a lot. If you want a little, tell it you want a little. Be specific with it. And that leads us into tip number one, which is specifics. The more specifics you get it, the better the output is going to be. Here's a great example. I actually asked ChatGPT to create me these examples. You are a renowned chef tasked with creating a new fusion cuisine that combines traditional Japanese and Mexican culinary elements. Your challenge is to design a three-course meal that incorporates ingredients and techniques from both cultures while respecting their culinary heritage. The meal should cater, now here's all the specifics. The meal should cater to a diverse audience with varying dietary restrictions, including vegetarian, gluten-free, dairy-free options. Describe each dish in detail, including the ingredients, cooking methods, and presentation, and explain how you have balanced the flavors and textures to create a harmonious dining experience. That's a whole lot of detail, and here it is. It gave it to me. Here's the appetizer, here's all the ingredients, here's what it's doing. Here's the main course. Here's the dessert. If I wanted to, I could ask it to give me the step-by-step -step cooking procedures to do this. All right. If you were to just say, give me a Japanese and Mexican fusion menu, it's not going to come up with this level of detail. The more specifics you get it, the more quality output you get. All right. So there it is. There's the four tips to help you become a ChatGPT Pro. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you very much. Take care.